What's up guys, XRQBs here and welcome back to another video and I've done it again. I don't know how, ignore the face cam, I've managed to somehow, for not doing it any time in two years, to both of the last two videos forgetting to turn the microphone on whilst recording. So yeah, the face cam's there, it's got my reaction, but unfortunately this is post come again because I'm an absolute tool and somehow forgot again to plug in the microphone. But um, yeah, thank you for being here and choosing to click on the video. If you haven't already, if you could leave a like or, and um, subscribe to the channel, then I really would appreciate it. So the team on the screen right now is the team that I used Thursday when I um, played champs. Of course, Royce would have been a striker to, to get 10 chem. But if you watched my squad battles video Sunday, you would have known that I absolutely hated Coleman and Royce. Royce wasn't bad, but wasn't brilliant in good games. Like, he didn't have the agility or the pace, or it just didn't feel good enough when he needed to, when he needed to be clutch. And Kingsley Coleman was just the worst footballer I've ever seen on the planet. Like, five goals in 40-odd games, uh, like, 50-odd games in the end, actually, before I sold him. And he was just terrible. Goretzka was really good, but hard to get him on chem now, because... Pretty much all the people in the Bundesliga I didn't like. Wijnaldum is brilliant. He was really good, honestly. But I couldn't get him in the CDM role. Because I play 4-2-2-2, um, his defensive stats weren't what I wanted as a 4-2-2-2. Because I've already got four attackers, my CDM, I would rather be more defensive. Which is why you can see I've now put Ndidi and Suzoka in the team. Because although Suzoko's not got much better defending stats than Wijnaldum, he's just a lot bigger build in game and more of a beast, so wins the ball back a lot more. Um, yeah, I'll show you the concept and then took him out because for some reason you still can't do concept um, custom tactics with concept players. I can't see why not. You should be able to at least show them. But yeah, um, the team that I'm using now, everybody's on full chem apart from Mane, who's on seven. So I'm more than happy with that. He gets Gomez to 10 chem on seven there as well. And of course, I've got Anderson and Mane in the team now. So it's impossible to not have at least one of them on seven chem. So these are the custom tactics that I use. Balance, five width, three depth, and then fast build up with four, four, two and two. Um, I haven't changed them in ages actually. I've been using them for a while now. They do really well for me. So decided to leave it like that. Um, you'll see I put Sizoko and Ndidi CDM now as I did say, uh, say before. Mendy and Militao with Ariola will stay in the team for ages. Um, Ariola might come out eventually for somebody else. But he's still been doing a really good job for me. So I've had no reason to change him at the minute. Uh, the custom, uh, the plan instructions at the minute, I don't have anything on the strikers. I have get into a box for crosses on the cams, stay back while attacking on the CDMs, and then stay back while attacking on the fullbacks. Always have stay back while attacking on the fullbacks and CDM no matter what. And then the strikers, I just switch between random formations. Like the um, strikers, sometimes I'll have stay forward and get them behind. Sometimes I'll just leave them on what they are. So, um, yeah, that's the squad. Any questions, of course, let me know in the comment section. If you do have any good players for, like, two, 300k that I've not used yet, let me know. And um, I'll be sure to try them out. It's, some people get such good links and some people get such bad links, which, like, that's Weinstein that came out as an SBC. He's got a brilliant card, but I can't pay that much when he gets such terrible links. Like, I'm not going MLS because it will just make my team worse. But yeah, we do get 27-3 and three in foot champs. I played okay this weekend. Thing is, I got 27 this weekend, only 26 last. And I played better this week, uh, last weekend than I did this weekend. Out of like the 27 uh, games that I won, I reckon at least 23 of them I won by one goal. And like 6 of them I won at extra time. Like every game seems so close no matter the standard of people. So, uh, yeah, the team of the week this week. It's not brilliant, to be quite honest. Um, Kaylor Navas, really good stats, actually. But he's a terrible nation and not a great league for PSG um, or team. Digne's good, but honestly, I wouldn't use him. It's too slow. He's never going to get in above Mendy, personally, for my team. Obviously, Wijnaldum's sick. Gundogan, average stats at best, with no pace, like, defending and physicals poor. Same as Pjanic, 
Again, no pace, defending, physical, shooting, all poor. Lewandowski's got a good card, but wouldn't get into my team because I prefer quick strikers. Same as Kane, he's got really good finishing. Problem is, with tall strikers, it's so hard to get into positions to shoot. Like, on this game, you need so many quick turns and, like, drag backs and stuff. And it's so hard to do that, to get any space. It's a bit like Sun. Sun's got a phenomenal shot, but he's hard to get into the positions to actually get a shot off. Um, so, yeah, if if you didn't hear at the start of the video, I did forget to record my face cam again, because I'm an idiot. I haven't forgot to record my um, microphone, sorry. In, a, like, two and a half years I've been doing YouTube, I haven't forgot to turn my microphone on once. And yet, I've done it twice in the last two videos. So, apologies for that. This is post-com, if you didn't already know. So, yeah, apologies. I'm going to get, like, a post-it note or something and just stick it right next to my TV with massive capital letters that just says, remember to turn microphone on. Uh, so, first two picks, uh, John McGinn and Digne. And the last pick, we get nothing as well. So, considering last week I got an 84 Bergwin, an 86 Gomez, an 87 Immobile, the red picks were absolutely terrible for me. Because only getting an 81, 82, and then 185, the 85's not bad, and Dignate, to be fair, McGinn's a Premier League player as well, so if they do actually bring some SBCs out that are decent, they can be put in. But, unfortunately not. Let me, let me know what you guys thought of the gameplay this week as well, by the way. Um, or if you felt any different with a patch that came out yesterday. Because so far, I played a couple of rivals last night and the gameplay just felt slow as anything. We do get a walkout here though. Spanish, Cam, Mad City. So we do get David Silva. Um, a walkout to a walkout, honest, for me, is not usable this game. Pace makes such a difference and his shooting is terrible as well. You, he's not... Um, big enough or strong enough for a centre mid and he's not got the pace or the shooting for a cam so for me he's definitely unusable but then my electron players packs are usually always good to me um to be honest the silvers and the goals always used to open them last year from the league SBCs, and they were always good but uh, yeah let me know what you thought of the gameplay because for me personally it was so slow i don't know if it's just because of rivals because foot champs are uh, foot champs this weekend was the most delayed thing ever. Like, I know I hit 27 wins, so I'm not using it as an, as an excuse, sorry, because I'm happy with 27 wins, obviously. Got me verified to now compete in qualifiers and stuff, but the the delay on shots, like, I don't know if people felt it on PS, but I spoke to a couple of people on Xbox that said it was really bad as well. It's so hard to create a chance. It's hard enough to get past the AI as it is, but to get past in delay is very harsh. But, um, yeah, let me know what you think of the update as well, because some people are saying stuff's changed. I personally haven't felt anything change. The drag back for me is still decent. It was supposed to get patched. I know squad battles has been changed a little bit, but that's decent. Um, not much for me has changed that I can see. We didn't get a walkout in this pack, but we did get Kyle Walker, which is a guaranteed like 70k once foot champ starts. So that's a really nice pull. Uh, actually a decent pack here, to be honest. We got 384s, um, 583s because we got one on the transfer list there. So really nice pack there for once. 100k packs so far for me this year have been very poor. Like they're usually a couple of 83s and that's it. So to get somebody like a Walker who for some reason, even though he's low rated, doesn't get packed a lot. He's only an 84 but like the pack weight on better 84 rated players have got to be lower um, than higher at 84 rated. Like, somebody like a PZ, you'll pack a million times more during the year than you will a Kyle Walker. So, we did get a walkout, got Belgium, was hoping for De Bruyne, got out of wild. Um, still an 87. I can't picture him being an 87 after this um, year because Tottenham have had an absolutely shocking start so far. But, yeah, other than out of wild, not a lot in the pack at all. He goes for about 25k, 20, 25. Um, yeah, high rated players at the minute just aren't needed because there's no SBC still, which is a shame. Uh, the icon swaps, um, by the way, I don't know if I'm going to do them. Obviously, if you can, I would definitely recommend doing them. But because I play champs and squad battles, I don't think I've got like the time 
and the effort, honestly, to do rivals in between with the um, uh, random teams and stuff and random teams on squad battles and that to, like, complete the icons because I'd only get one, like, a Butra or somebody who's, like, 17. And by the time, in, like, a month's time, by the time I can complete him, I could just go out and buy any of the icons that are currently in the icon swap. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. We got an awful team in a week pack there. 381 players, which is shocking. Um, last week, I had a shocking team of the week pack as well for my Elite 2 rewards. Could we get anything in the third pack? No walkout, which means it's not even an 84, so it's going to be lower than that. And we managed to get an 81 again. Now, for me... Oh, I'm annoyed. You can see by my face reaction, I'm annoyed. I know people say that ah, oh, it's free team middle. Um, you got six team middle weeks for nothing. That's 10k straight away, which is very true. But anyone that plays foot champs knows how much of a grind it is to do well, and to get 27 wins is good on this FIFA, in my opinion. Especially consider <coughs> dying, considering my team isn't the best. To get 481 to 78 and a 75 is shocking. I didn't even realise that you could get below 81 rated in Team of the Weeks, by the way. I thought the Team of the Week packs were always at least 81 rated. So, to know that they've lowered that is a bit of a joke for me personally. But, yeah, I'm still happy. We got a couple of walk... Uh, how many walkouts did we get? Yeah, we got two walkouts and we got a walker. We got 125k for the packs. Um, really appreciate you guys being here. Let me know what you got in the comments. Hopefully you got something lucky. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, then that would be really appreciated. That's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.